All right, I'm Kyle, and uh, today we're going to be building motor mounts for the uh, 40 Ford for the Street Rod Road Tour car. So far, we've mounted the uh, body to the chassis and done some clearancing in the floor and uh, some shaving of the cowl vent. Um, now we need to work on getting the drivetrain all set up in the car. Well, the first step is I'm going to have to get the engine located in our frame rails and then take some measurements for how long my motor mounts need to be. I'll TIG these, I'll make them and then I'll TIG them together on the bench and I'll be using uh, Dynasty 350. First thing we're going to do is, uh, I've, we already know that firewall isn't going to let us have as much engine setback as we want, so uh, we're going to make some slices so that we can set the engine where we want it. I just made some slices in the firewall here, which is going to allow me to push these sides in and give us more room to push the engine back as far as we want. All right, so now we're going to uh, set the engine in the frame rails and get it centered, placed where we want it, and then we'll be able to start measuring to actually start making our motor mounts. Oh, that's down a little too much. All right, so you saw me uh, cut some of the floor to make room for the trans. Now we've got it at the angle we want. Now we're just gonna make sure it's centered in the frame rails and then we can start making our motor mounts. So these plates, I, uh, I made a template off of the, uh, off of the frame of the engine and I cut these out with the uh, 375 plasma. Um, then all you gotta do is you trim, you uh, grind off the slag a little bit and you got a couple Nice pieces that fit in here like so. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bend a plate to cap the top and the bottom, weld that up and weld these on and you've got some finished motor mounts. I've got my, uh, my top boxing plate bent in and set up here to weld. I got a nice uh, uh, edge to edge set up so I got a nice gap to weld in, we can tack this thing together. No, I'm telling my customer no, you're Okay, well here we just welded up our uh, motor mount. I'll uh, trim this off here to meet the frame and then we'll uh, grind up this weld and be ready to weld this thing onto the frame and have a nice finished uh, motor mount. Uh, so for the past 10 minutes or so I've been uh, sanding down my weld and fitting this onto the engine. You can see that's the uh, finished motor mount, finished product there. Um, and so you know, this is the uh, one side of the motor mounts for the 40, um, 40 Ford Street Rod Road Tour car. Uh, again, for this to make this, I used the uh, 375 Plasma and the uh, Dynasty 350 TIG welder. You know, fitment is important when you're uh, putting these things together. Fitment's important and your penetration's important. So make sure you have your stuff fit well and uh, get plenty of heat into your piece would be my advice. The next things we're going to have to do, we're going to have to finish uh, mounting the drivetrain. We still got a, a trans mount to do, and we're going to be doing some cool body work too. We're going to do a mild chop on it and some uh, shaving. So it should be some uh, you know, cool minor uh, custom touches. You'll see a few articles on it coming up in Street Rotter, and uh, it'll be unveiled in, Jan in June and is going to be uh, road raced. So if you want to see more on this car, uh, make sure you check out the uh, upcoming issues of Street Rotter.